It's a big win for our football team, uh, without question. Uh, you know, it's one of the prouder moments I've had uh, being the coach here at Purdue. Um, to be around a group of guys that have just fought hard every week. Uh, every week hasn't been pretty, uh, but they haven't lost confidence. Uh, we look in the mirror when we make mistakes. We figure out a way to try to improve and get better. Even this past week wasn't an easy week coming off a win because we knew we didn't play very well. Uh, but we just decided to give it everything we had. I thought we had a good plan together on the defensive side of the ball um, with a little bit of disguise, a little bit of solid base defense to just create enough confusion. Uh, we tackled better, kept the ball in front of us, and then when they got the ball moving, uh, we found a way to get timely turnovers, which was crucial. Offensively, had a few moments here and there. Got stale for a while once again, uh, but you know what? We hung in there. Um, a couple new linemen had to step in, uh, and we just fought to the end. And, and, and uh, to be able to run the ball at the end of the game was great to see. That's something we haven't done here for quite a while. So just a great team win against a team that was playing about as good as anybody. They were hot. Uh, they were playing well. They had dominated their opponents. So to come in here and beat a ranked team, just couldn't be proud of our football team. Jeff, is, did some, is this a byproduct of all those close games you played in the first part of the season? Well, I do think... Um, Excuse me. Traditionally, since I've been here, we've had a really good schedule, and uh, that may not mean as many wins as you like. But uh, you're playing tough football games every week. You're learning. It's not a wasted week where you're starting to feel good about yourself and pat yourself on the back. You know, we've had you know, four tough weeks uh, of figuring out ways to get better. What can we do to improve? How can we score more points? How can we move the ball? How can we create better stops? And we've worked at it, and uh, it's not always going to be pretty, uh, but that's Big Ten football. I mean, every team you play in this conference, uh, it's going to be a battle, and if you're willing to fight to the end and give yourself a chance, you never know what can happen. So just really proud of our team to hang in there to the very end and, uh, and pull away the way we did. Hey, Jeff, at what point this week did you know Aiden was going to play, and, and what percent was he? Was he 50%, 60%? How did you think he threw the ball and just performed? Well, I really didn't practice uh, until Thursday, and that's a lighter practice for us. And uh, I think he felt like he could probably go then, uh, but we wanted to continue to you know, see how he was Friday and even today. Uh, we got the other quarterbacks ready to go, uh, and uh, they had a good week of practice, so we were ready to use them if we had to. Uh, but I think Aiden just thought he could do it. Uh, he's a team player. Uh, he's willing to sacrifice, and I think – our team rallied around them, and uh, when, you, when you have guys that suck it up uh, for the team and, and just do the best they can, I just think it improves the morale, and uh, the more guys we can get uh, that are just willing to you know, lay on the line, the better football team you're going to have. It, their offense is very difficult to make one-dimensional. Now, I, don't, I know they didn't have Muhammad back there, but still, you feel like your defensive line and your, your front seven shut off their run game for the most part. I thought it was great game by our defense. Um, you know, Coach English and the guys we kind of put this thing together, and they did a really good job of kind of simplified and understanding what we kind of wanted to do. And as the week went on, we really started to tweak it. And uh, later in the week, we said, hey, we need to disguise some. We need to give certain looks and not play it because we're going to look at the sideline two, sometimes three times. Uh, and that will throw them off a little bit. And uh, I even got with the defensive staff and said, hey, these are the windows they're looking for in the RPO game versus one high versus two high. This is how you got to take it away. Uh, I just think we just continue to learn throughout the week uh, what they wanted to do, how they wanted to attack. And uh, that was by far the best defensive game against Minnesota we, we've ever played. Uh, so hopefully we can build on that because I do think our guys played hard, uh, understood the package, and really played well. Well, we'll just talk about what Devin Mockaby continues to mean to this program, Jeff. Well, he's a prime example of a young man that's just hungry, that's out to prove himself. You know, he came here as a walk-on. Um, you know, he's probably a 190 pounds dripping wet. Um, even when today I saw him in a uniform, and I saw their running back uniform, I'm like, oh, this guy looks <laughs> a little bit bigger than ours. But you know what? Devin's slippery, and uh, he runs hard, and he doesn't go down. And uh, he really has no fear. And that's kind of qualities that sometimes you can't teach. Uh, but he has that. So I just think as he continues to grow and get bigger and stronger and understand how the game works, uh, he can do great things for us. Because that's kind of what we haven't been able to do is break some runs uh, and get some real yards after contact consistently. But he definitely did it today. And it, uh, it came through for us. For Devin to bounce back from that fumble there, 
early and obviously be able to ice the game there for you guys at the end. Just what does it say about uh, him, you know, being a young player uh, and where he's kind of maturing with this team? Well, credit to him. You know, that was a key play where we fumbled the ball. I don't know if he got the first down or not. Uh, he just popped it out. And those things happen. Uh, he works a little bit, a little bit loose. And those are things he'll learn from. Uh, but, uh, you know, he really has no fear. Uh, he's a great young man. Nothing really rattles him. He's kind of got that personality. He's just kind of fun and enjoyable to be around. Uh, there's not a mean bone in his body. He just loves to compete and, and loves football and loves his teammates. So we're happy to have him on our team. So will, will Aiden be okay for next week, Jeff? And at any point in this game, do you consider switching quarterbacks? No, we had to uh, work the others all week, and we did have a, a run game package of the others. I thought about going two to three times when we got stale, but, uh, you know, I just thought Aiden you know, felt like he was moving around decent enough. Um, but, no, we wanted to stick with him, and, uh, you know, we'll see how he comes out of it. I, you know, we, we had him all padded up, and, uh, you know, hoping that he can come out of it pretty well and, and be ready again for next week. You know, at the end of last week's game, I, mean, I asked you if you felt like you were ready for the Big Ten to get back going, and you said no. You didn't feel like your team was ready. <laughs> what made them rise to this occasion today? Well, a lot of times when you don't feel that, uh, <laughs> you, you have to work even harder to figure out, figure out a way to get it done. And uh, between offense and, and defense, and, and Carl's done a really good job on our special teams, we, we spent a lot of time trying to figure out, okay, well, this is a call, but what are they going to see with it? And how can we adjust? And what do we need to take away? And we just continued to dive through it, even as the week went on. It was a long week. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, because it just, you, you got to prepare for these guys. I mean, uh, you, they're, they're really sound. They don't normally don't beat themselves. Uh, it was important we got a lead. Even though it wasn't much, we got a lead. So it did take them out of their game a little bit. And as you guys know, that's kind of when we do a better job, especially against these type of run-dominated defensive football teams. So that helped. And I just think everything matters. Uh, and our coaches worked hard, and our players put in great effort. And that's how it's going to be. We know that the rest of the year. Every week's going to be a battle, and we're just going to have to figure it out and uh, figure out a way to win at the end. And the Big Ten West keeps looking like it's up and down, Jeff. Well, why not Purdue? Well, I don't even know any other scores, so I hope you're right. <laughs> any other questions for Coach? All right, thanks, Coach. Thanks.